Hi, teacher. Hello. How are you tonight, Jose Miguel? I'm fine. I guess. Okay. Hello, Alvaro. Hello, Carlos Ernesto. Hello, teacher. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great tonight. Yeah, thank you very much for asking. What about you, Carlos Ernesto? Are you okay? I hope, uh, well, actually, if you're a listener, don't worry. Maybe you're driving, right? Okay. I don't know what's going on with my... Like this, I don't know what's oh. going on. Is it better with this? I don't know. <laughs> I hope I don't disappear in the middle of the class. You look good. Oh, it's because I'm yeah, it's because I'm wearing white. <laughs> mm? Okay, can you say that in English? A fly. I got a fly, yeah. I, oh, you got the flight. All right, good. There you are. <gasps> Hello, everyone. Hello, Rafael. Welcome. Thank you, teacher. Okay. How are you? Well, I feel great tonight. Yeah, I feel that I'm doing really good tonight. Yeah. Yes. What about you? How do you feel tonight? I'm fine. Thank you. Okay, great. Great. Hello, Hosman. Welcome. Maybe he's still Why? connecting the audio. I'm sorry, Hosman again? It's quiet. <laughs> yeah, it's very quiet tonight. Mm -hmm. Today yeah. I don't have a background because it... I'm in, in another computer. Oh, yeah, we missed that. Yes, your SpongeBob <laughs> Square <Yeah>. Pants. <laughs> okay. Actually, I'm, I'm still working. For oh. Me, but and for the the hour. Oh, I connect okay. it with my uh, computer of the work. Oh, okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So that's your personal, the one you have right now? No, actually it's uh, my computer for my work. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. The other days is my personal. Oh, but the okay. reason the camera is, is different. complicated. <laughs> okay. I have the, the screen here. Mm -hmm. The camera is here. Mm, okay. <laughs> Yeah, and can you uh, just click on, uh, it says reflect my own video. That's the option. Maybe you yeah, can I, click on it. I, uh, in fact, I have the, the camera in, in that uh, mode because here uh -huh. is the, the laptop. The PC uh -huh. But the screen is too small. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I, don't, I, I didn't see it. So I put this in this other screen. Oh, okay. Well, okay then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, you will be fighting tonight. Okay. <laughs> in a big battle. Okay. Hello, Elise. Welcome, Nelson. Are you guys still at work too? Hello, Hosman. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Yeah. I hope everybody is okay tonight. Well, we're going to start the class because it's already 8.05. And remember that I like to be uh, very punctual in honor to the punctuality and for the punctual people here. So mm, we want to do um, short feedback. And let's remember, 
Well, the PLC four P's. Remember, what are the four P's stand for? I mean, what do they stand for? Price promotion. Mm -hmm. Mm. Place. Place. Product. Product. Place. Price. And price. Okay, very good. Price, promotion, place, and product. Very good. And uh, do you remember that marketing has different, um, let's say, strategies? Okay, uh, so these four PLC, uh, I'm sorry, this, uh, yeah, four, um, this four elements for the marketing mix, okay, are a the strategies we are going to include in a marketing plan. And this marketing plan is part of the business plan. It's a part of the integral action of the, the company that we work for. And as customers, as customers, um, we perceive brands well elaborated, well promoted, well priced, and also Mm, let's say well designed. So we trust in those brands, right? We trust in those companies, in those products. And maybe be, you buy something because of the price. Maybe you buy something because of the features of the product that are exactly what you really need to feed a need. Okay. And um, maybe you are just buying something because you believe the message they are delivering, or maybe there is a sales promotion that you want to take advantage of. And then you acquire the product in any time or temporarily, or eventually you get that product. So this is marketing. Marketing are all the actions of um, promoting the buying and selling of products, okay? the exchange of products by money. So profitable, for, I'm sorry, profitable. And make profitable a company means to sell and the best price, price, I'm sorry, and the right place, doing the right promotion. Remember, that's the PLC. Remember the PLC concept? It's a, the marketing mix is, to sell the right product, design, offer the right product, mm -hmm. then sell it to the right price, mm -hmm. offering this product in the right place, making it available for the customer. And then, uh huh, the promotion, the right promotion, okay? Sending the correct messages or the right messages through the right mass channels of communication, right? So a very good communicative strategy will make that you sell your products and make your company very profitable. All right, people. So this is our feedback. And now we are in unit three. Unit three is? Branding, okay, branding. What is branding, guys? What is branding? Branding. Is the process to build, to building a brand. Okay, is it's the process you, to build. Mm -hmm. It's when you try to position a brand of your product and, well, that, <laughs> Okay, great. Uh -huh. It's the process to, to uh, find or to positioning <laughs> your product in the mind of customers. Okay, what else is branding, Hosman? Uh, it's an identification the, um, the company in the, in the consumer All on, right. the, on the market. Okay. Thank you, Ana Lorena. Maybe it's a create to identity to the right. product. Exactly. As Hasman said, right, they need to differentiate your product from other products in the market. So you are giving it an identity, right? An identity. So you are building a trustable image of your product, of your 
name of your company of your actions in the market. Okay, so you make this trustable. And uh, do you know how is this process or what stages are involved in this process? Do you have any idea? What's the question, teacher? Excuse what me. do you think are the stages to uh, build a brand or to implement the branding strategies? What is the process of branding? Do you have any idea? Mm, is it a great uh, mark of brand, teacher? Do you okay. question? uh-huh exactly you okay. need to create mm -hmm. example, i think that will be the first the first step right mm -hmm. for example uh i generate on the idea the elaboration the mark and um, on logo identification the company or product for example this is a uh, identify identification because the Define, define the colors, the uh, style and size. Um, and <laughs> no sé cómo decir este, la frase la que, la que identifica la marca. A slogan. Es a slogan, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, you need a phrase. A sticky phrase, yes, sticky, that everybody uh, tastes it, right? And also use it in the real life. My sticky phrase, they become part of their lives, okay? So yes, correct. So first, Postman said, you come up with an idea, but the idea comes from the product. The idea comes from doing a research or making a research in the market of the, you calculate the behavior of people uh, when you use the product. Maybe you will find out that there are other needs that you can fulfill with the same product. Okay, so you diversify uh, your market, okay? You um, expand also your market strategies or marketing strategies, uh, maybe the play strategies or maybe the promotion strategies. So if you take in account all these um, elements from your research, you will find the sticky phrase. You will find the identity of your product. So you will create a logo that will be attractive for people, attractive. And everybody recognize your brand just seeing the colors, just seeing maybe a circle or a part of your logo. So you will be recognized by people as soon as you create your logo. Okay, so you come up first with a name for the product, then with brand for the product, right? So, but the first thing you do is the product, okay? To have the product. And when you have the product, you come up with a brand. After you have the brand, then you create what? What do you create? Do you have any idea? What do you create after having your brand name? Mm -hmm. Any idea? You create a concept. You create a concept. You need the people believe what your product is, believe what you are offering is exactly the true. So if you are truly uh, sending messages 
you are sending true messages to people or to your customers, then the um, uh, results will be that your customers will be loyal to your brand. That's what you are looking for. The market, I mean, the target market uh, becomes loyal. So at the same time that the market uh, comes uh, loyal to my brand, I am loyal to my customers, okay? This is a process of two vice, okay? So let's look at the, uh, the branding basics or the basics of branding that we learned yesterday in the questions that you answered. So I'm going to show you just mm, like a, the summary of what you answered yesterday. So let's look at this. Because in the branding, ba in, I'm sorry, in the basics of branding, we are going to see stages, okay? Stages. Stages, because it's a process, right? If it were in the process, then we won't have, we wouldn't have any stage. But let's think about what branding is. Okay, then, a brand is exactly the name uh, how your product is going to be recognized, okay? And also you need a logo, it's a symbol, a visual element, okay? <laughs> then the people become uh, loyal as the, mm, the true messages that you send about your product. And if your product function, if your product, uh, for real is uh, fulfilling the needs, okay, then we are going to uh, have as a result, the loyalty from people, okay? But we must be loyal first. We need to be true to our brand. After being true to our brand, then we are going to get the loyalty, okay? So now, exactly your brand has to say or has to give people what they really expect from your product. For example, if you think about Michelin, yeah, Michelin, what is Michelin? Do you remember Michelin? Yeah, okay, the product, uh -huh. the product is tires. Mm -hmm. But do you remember this, um, let's say this doll, <laughs> yeah, or this, uh, the figure un gordito blanco. The cartoon. Aha, <laughs> aha, uh -huh, uh -huh, yes. Aha. Uh -huh. It's a tire man. Aha. Uh -huh. It's a tire made of I'm sorry, it's a man tire. Oh, made man. of tires. Yes, man made of tires. Yes, of yes. course. Aha. Uh -huh. When I was a little girl, my dad called me Michelin. <laughs> you can imagine why. That's so bad. <laughs> yeah. But that, oh, this is funny. This is funny. That cartoon reminds <laughs> me the the ghost at the end of the movie Ghostbusters. Oh. The marshmallow man. Oh yes, it's similar, right? Mm -hmm. Similar. Okay. Yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. And then there is another movie that has a big um, don't like this one. It's an inflate in. in Inflatable, inflated, uh, inflated doll, and it was these um, scientists uh, with the nano things, and I don't remember the name of this movie, but it's similar too. It's similar to to this other movie. It's a white one. It's a white it's big stuff. thing. Yeah. So, and it was like a nurse, a personal nurse. I need search the movies. Yes. Okay. It was in Francis Tokyo. I don't know, San Francis Tokyo. They said the city where this was happening. I don't remember exactly. The name, I don't know. Big heroes? Big heroes, if Big I'm not heroes. wrong. Yeah, big heroes. Uh, okay, yeah, big heroes. So yeah, that's a very it's similar the 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 this doll, right? Mm -hmm. 
It's similar. Okay, Baymax. well, I'm Baymax. sorry? Baymax. Baymax. Baymax, yes, Baymax. Uh huh. They are similar. Mm -hmm. But let's go back to Michelin, okay? Let's go back to <laughs> back to Michelin. Even if the, if we didn't say Michelin with the doll over there with the figure, so uh, you knew that it was Michelin, right? Because it was unique. Everybody recognized that a uh, figure, okay? Everybody recognized that man made out of tires. Okay, so that's uh, what they can expect from your product. Resistance, durability, good quality, okay? So mm, almost eternal life, right? These kind of tires, good tires. All right, now, do you remember, for example, uh, a, the Pringles, the Pringles, um, face that it has on the um, on the packaging do you remember it has a big mustache do you remember even if it doesn't say pringles you know it is pringles right ah, you know pringles, it is pringles man. yeah uh-huh uh, uh, well, I say packaging. Yeah, the two. Yeah, yeah. The, two. the two packaging. All right. Yeah. Or the can, because it's kind of a can, even if it is uh, made out of paper. But look, uh, what do you think about KFC? Do you remember KFC? <laughs> KFC? The yeah, the Cornell. Yes, exactly. So they have a personal brand. Also, they have a product branding. They have both. They have both personal branding and product branding. Mm. What about uh, the letter M of McDonald's, right? What color is the letter M? Yellow. It's yellow. And what's Where the background? The background. Red background. It's red. What about Don Pollo? Do you remember what's the logo? Says Don Pollo. Yeah, with it's the mustache and the... Don Pollo, Don Pollo. Um, yes, it is orange with brown. Yeah. Yeah, uh -huh. it's orange, but I don't remember to see if the letter P have a. a, a it was like. Oh, it's la chorcita del pollo. It's like a claw, right? It's like a claw because it has three things. Uh, okay. Well, actually, I don't know, but it, they are orange. So you can um, uh, relate this with the head or the claws, right? It doesn't matter. All right. No, and... es, es la chorchita, porque la pea del otro lado tiene un pico. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, yes, you're right. The Allow me to remember. Okay, I don't have any packaging right now, but yeah. And what about Pizza Hut? Pizza the, Hut. The Hut. The, the Hut, exactly. The Hut. It's not a hut, it's a hut, okay? <laughs> yeah, it's a cabana, right? It's not a hut, it's a hut. <laughs> okay, well, if you see, we identify logos, colors, shapes, and all these kind of visual elements, okay? So through this, there is a concept. There is a concept. What we are expecting from this company is offering, okay? So let's go to see these other mm, vocabulary we want to learn today. Let me just to introduce the class because today we have branding, Vocabulary, branding, vocabulary. This is your class number 17. And the objective, oh my goodness, again, okay, is to sketch the basics of the branding process for a person or a company or product, okay, or product. So let's go to the types of branding. We need to learn some terms, okay? Some 
terms, product branding, personal branding, corporate branding, retail branding, geographical branding, service branding, online branding, offline branding, and co-branding, okay? So do you want to read it? Open your microphones and read it freely, okay? Read them freely from here in this direction, okay? Horizontal. Mm -hmm. Product branding. Mm -hmm. Personal branding. Uh, corporate branding. Mm -hmm. Everybody, please. Go ahead, Wilbur. Don't let Retail me alone. branding. Retail uh -huh. branding, geographical branding, service uh -huh. branding, 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 online branding, branding offline, offline branding, co-branding. Co-branding. Co co Do you know any of these terms? What idea do you have when you read product branding? Product branding. For example, uh, Honda. Okay. Mm -hmm. Honda. Mm -hmm. yeah, but uh, you uh, ask about we, we what will what will uh, think about it. I think this is a a product that a uh, mark that uh, had a uh, relation with a consumer or uh, with uh, people they uh, know about the, the design or the logo or the, uh, the relation with uh, that uh, some people like it. Uh, the mark, you got it uh, uh, in your mind. Okay, so in this case, it's something that you produce, exactly. Yes. Something yes. that you produce and you want people have it in mind. Okay. Right. In exactly. Very good. Yeah. But it's the product. The Honda, tangible. Honda is a logo, the edge, well, you know that it's a Honda is. And that's All right. a, mm -hmm. a, a, a product branding. Yes. Yeah. So what is Honda product? A Honda product is a mm -hmm. branding. No, it's what is name. the product? What is the product? Ah, it's a car. It's a car. Are they cars? Well, they have different models. They have different uh, models too. Right, mm -hmm. right. Okay, yeah. they have different models. They have so they have to focus the product branding in each model and each design and each color they produce, each price they are offering. Yeah. Okay, so that's product branding. Do they produce yeah. motorcycles too? Yeah, the I, yes. They, okay. Do they yeah, produce? They, uh -huh. they began with motorcycle. Okay. The Do they produce spare product, parts? It was a motorcycle. Okay. The first they, product. All right. That's the first product. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. And is it only one model of motorcycles that they have no, produced? No. There are many uh, 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 style. Okay. And, uh, yeah, yeah, right. At the time of uh, trying to buy or decide, I'm sorry, at the time that you decided to buy a car, for example, what makes you decide buying a Honda? Uh, I think it's the horsepower. Okay, so features. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. okay. Because if you are a small one, you can have a, a big one with uh, a lot of horsepower. All and right. If I am tall, I can have a, a, a with a, 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 the size, a, a less uh, horsepower. Oh, because okay. you need a, a, a power. A motorcycle. Okay. Right. All right. Good. So you are talking about motorcycles. All right. right. Good. Right. Mm -hmm. What about the price of Honda? I think it's the most expensive huh, than Is it? others. 
Yeah, there are. Oh, ah, if you are talking about the uh, Helly Davidson, uh, yeah, actually, it's yeah, I things, know. But we yes. are talking about a commercial uh, motorcycle, right? For work. Okay. Yamaha is better. Yamaha is better. Okay. You'd rather Yamaha, Rafael. Okay. Very good. So let's try to uh, make like a short analysis. Okay, a short analysis. Is there some, something that makes you think about a personal branding right now? For example, for a product that you are wearing, that you are using in this very moment? Personal branding, personal branding. What do you think it is? Do you have an exam example of what you are wearing? Maybe any uh, thing that you are using? Okay, I don't know. I think maybe it is just like uh, the. Uh, sorry, 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 Santiago. No, no, no go ahead. I okay. thought about the uh, uh, Jennifer Lopez. Huh? Oh, okay. She's a singer, and she makes a. Uh, 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 some uh, clothes and with a uh, uh, personal branding. Okay, all right, with her name. Okay, yeah. under her name. All right, and Wilber? It will be as like the question you made uh, yesterday. If we are identified uh, with a product we use uh, usually. Exactly, exactly. For example, what kind of um, perfume do you use? Do you wear, for example, mm, I don't know, maybe you prefer Carolina Herrera. Do you prefer Calvin Klein, right? Those are names of people, yeah? Those are names of the designer. So mm, that could be a personal branding, but it's also combined with the product, okay? Product branding, personal branding. Always together, if you notice, always together. The designer, because maybe they th they started like entrepreneurs, okay? Maybe they started like that. Do you remember the conversation we've got in the manual? Do you remember about the, the product in the manual? Joshua something? Do you remember? Everybody was relating the product to the producer, okay, to the producer. For example, let's, uh, we may think about um, uh, Santa Eduviges, okay? Santa Eduviges, is that a brand related with the product or to a personal branding? For example, teacher is usually in the in a sport. For example, in basketball, Michael Jordan, and soccer, Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo, uh, is personal branding. Your name is the is the branding in the world. Exactly. What makes you different from the crowd, from people? Yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. Even though they are working in a team or they are producing for a team they have they are their own feel right they their own brand their name what they are what they do and if they the way they do it all right so yes you're right husband mm -hmm. very good that's personal branding and it's the best example I think that's the best example husband and for example if you are mm, an auditor and you are independent, then you have a seal too. If you are a lawyer, a professional, um, then you have a seal. You have the uh, background of your experience that it's branding your personal job, your personal work, the, the what you really are, okay? And it adds value to your uh, name, to your brand. Okay, so it's going to make you sell or get better clients, right? Corporate clients, uh, that's what 
an independent professional is always expecting for, all right? So, okay, let's think about corporate branding. Corporate branding. What do you think is that? Do you uh, come up with an example? Corporate branding. The bank, for example, the bank. Good. Mm -hmm. Okay. How do you think it works, Alvaro? Uh, Banco Cuscatlán. Mm -hmm. uh, or, or corporate brandy can be the Visa, MasterCard. Mm -hmm. And it includes all the businesses around them, right? All the products they offer. Yeah, financial products. Yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. And they have a brand of a corporation, right? A corporation, it's a big group of um, a businesses together, okay? Yeah, you're right. From maybe worldwide, right? Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. What about, uh, Hosman, you wanted to say something? For example, General Motor. Okay. Uh, can you give us a, a, a more explanation about mm -hmm. it? Uh, for example, General Motor is the uh, el, el create the automobile in the United States for the world, the sales. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. And uh, what do you think about the retail branding, guys? The retail branding. Can be the supermarket. All right. Mm -hmm. The supermarkets, mm -hmm. convenience stores, um, not exactly the little ones, right? Uh, do you know uh, this um, business in Merliot, Tienda Kenny? Have you ever heard about it? Tienda Kenny, Kenny, and do you remember how it started? Yeah, the Tienda Kenny is here, two blocks up in my house. <laughs> oh, really? Okay, then you know the story, right? You, you know, you do you know the history of that store? Uh, really, no. When I started to live here, the mm -hmm. Tienda Kenny uh, existed here. Mm -hmm. Existed. Existed, but uh, was. Um, very tiny uh, supermarket. Okay. And more, more than a, a store, more mm -hmm. than a. But it's only uh, one house with a little, uh, like two or three, right? Uh, pasillos. Okay, oh, halls. With two or three aisles. Halls? No aisles. 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 Mm -hmm. Aisles. Okay, with two or three halls and the most basic things and uh, mm -hmm. ba basic grants and to uh, paper toilet paper something like that yeah. but in the past of the time well actually i remember how three 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 super centers. okay yeah branches three branches in like 50 20 years Something yes, like yeah, right. Mm -hmm. And it started, okay, uh, it started with dairy products, dairy products. That was their uh, main business at the beginning. And it was started by uh, the owner's parents, okay, the owner's parents. Uh -huh. They were... Uh, kind of large family, it was a big family, but they uh, uh, they left, they left and she stayed. She stayed with the business and she make, made the business grow. Yeah, she made the business grow. She was, she is a very active woman. Yeah, she's a very active woman, the owner of this uh, store. And she's, kind of strong I mean she has a very strong a uh, character so that's 
something that uh, that made her have success in business, right? Mostly more in that area because remember delinquency was not so easy in that area. All right, but this store, this store had no uh, had no name for years. We didn't know how the store was named. Suddenly it got a name, right? Suddenly it got a name and they wrote just like a little sign. Maybe it was by Coca-Cola, by Coke or some company that made the, the sign. After that, uh, after everybody knew the name of this store, okay, everybody started to uh, have it in their mouths, right? So they were saying and repeating, go to Tienda Kenny, go to, where is Tienda Kenny? Where is it? Right at, in the corner, right in the corner. So everybody was um, a, um, showing or pointing the touching places. The touch place was right the corner, okay? It was the placement of the marketing mix. So everything were moving, right after coming up with a brand, okay? Then, oof, it exploded. Then it exploded. All right, now, then after that, it become, I mean, it comes, it comes a branding management, okay? Then it comes a branding management. So that's a retail branding. That's a retail branding because everybody knew that they sold anything and cheaper than anyone. That was their branding, that, that was their seal, okay? So what about the geographical branding? Geographical branding, geographical branding, places, right? Places like those. For example, we have our own brand, El Salvador, right? We have our own brand and any country, every country has its own brand. What about service branding? Service branding, service branding. Maybe a hotel? Huh? For example, dry cleaning. I'm sorry? Dry cleaning. Dry cleaning? Uh huh. Yeah. Dry cleaning is a service. Okay. Yeah. They. Oh, dry cleaning. A, oh, on buffet. A buffet. Okay. Mm -hmm. For example, a, a brand of dry cleaning. Uh, for example, the husband is uh, martinizing. Martinizing, yes, martinizing. Everybody knows that brand. And mm -hmm. for example, in the case of hotel, mm -hmm. uh, I always remember Hilton. Okay. So Not if the hotel, but <laughs> mm -hmm. okay, continue, continue. Uh huh. No, it's not for the hotel. It's, it's not for the hotel, but for but the, it's a brand I remember. <laughs> okay, for the neighborhood over there, yeah. Alameda and all those things. Okay, no, 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 no. it's for a, a granddaughter of the the owner. Oh, okay, martinizing. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. The, but look. the Uber, the Uber, uh -huh. and the uh, and the Hugo, Uber Eats. It's a service. Exactly, exactly. Uh huh. Also, they have a product. The product is exactly the app. Okay, the app. But they offer it like for free, right? They offer it like for free, but it's a very good service. Okay, you can qualify the service in good or bad. So, service branding means that you close the cycle with good service. Okay, we close the circle with good service from offering the service, giving the service, and after sale or after the service, you have a very good customer service. Okay, and then you have a follow up. Then you have a follow up of the service. That's service branding. You have to create all the strategies to fulfill the needs of any kind of service, any kind of service. 
because services are a lot, not just a, um, if you think about transportation, you think about Uber, taxis, mm, the public transportation also, okay? And your own car, your own car gives you a service. For example, Super Motors, uh, I don't know any other where you take your, your cars for maintenance, okay? And those are services too. Those are services and complementary services are named right in the service branding too. Okay, complementary. So online branding, online branding. What do you think this is about? It's just uh, like awesome. English Corporativo. Uh, you, uh, you have uh, online branding uh, and service. Uh, exactly, no? exactly. We provide both. We provide physical and we, we could say that and say break. Um, what's the what's the phrase the break I, I i forgot i forgot this uh phrase but the physical and online okay physical could be product could be personal could be corporate could be retail uh, could be service branding geographical branding but online branding is through the internet okay any kind of channel that requires software and this kind of promotion, okay, then it's online branding. Now, offline, offline branding, offline branding, mm -hmm. offline branding, our platform, right? Our platform. Even though if you are not in the class, you have an offline branding, okay? Uh, you have our product that gives you like the background. Offline branding is also that you don't need, you don't need the um, connection with the internet to have it. Offline branding, it's also by phone, by SMS, okay? SMS, so yeah. Co-branding, co-branding, partnerships, okay? partnerships. Maybe I have a big name like Nestle, and then I have Kit Kat, okay, the chocolates. I have, ah, it's Nestle, so I have the eh, eh, confianza, el nombre, eh, la marca mayor, and then I have like la hija, verdad, or the daughter. And okay, they come together, they are co-branding. Okay, they are co-branding. All right, then let's go then to our manuals. Let's go then to our manuals. And let's read again the conversation, page 25. Now we know the vocabulary and we're going to identify the branding right here. Okay. We're going to identify that. So it says, I would like to create a brand for my environment friendly diapers. What do you have in mind? I see a lot of people are buying from you rather than getting the one sold at the supermarket. Well, yes, that is a problem. People are calling them Joshua's, but that sounds just bad. And I can't come up with an, any better idea. You could call them Mel Brand. Mel Brand has come a trend for some products in Japan and Korea. Okay, uh, let's listen to Alvaro and let's look at Edwin. Please role play the conversation. I would like to create a brand of me environment friendly diaspers. Diapers. Diapers. Oh, they, oh, they... oh, okay. No, Edwin is right there. Uh, Edwin? Okay. Uh, I'm in here. Okay. I tried. Okay. 
I'm in the right. Are you driving? I, I couldn't get. Okay. No. You are Amy. Okay. The, what do you have in mind? I see a lot of people are buying from you rather than getting the one sold at the supermarket. Well, yes, that is the problem. People are they calling them Joshua's, but but the sons just are bad. And I can and I can come up with a better idea. You could call them no brand, no brand. Has become a trend for some products in Japan and Korea. Right, thank you very much. So now let's go to the breakout rooms and let's do the pair work that it comes below. So I will send it to you uh, for you to comment and also give an answer, okay? Please join your rooms. Hello, go to your rooms, please. Teacher, uh, my internet I, is unstable and, and I don't can, I, I don't get to go in my you, room. You can't, okay. Teacher, I go, but my partner don't answer me. Okay, then work here with Kevin. 
Okay. All right. Kevin, here is Ana Lorena. Here, teacher, or, or in a room? Uh, here. Here is okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to share my screen, Ana. Okay. Hello, Kevin. Hello, excuse me, my screen is <laughs> powered right now. <laughs> what did we, uh, yeah, because of the Wi Fi. Yeah, excuse okay. me. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. But I sent it through the chat so you can, you can just read it from there if you're able to. Um, Question and other the sentence below. Okay, okay. you what? you are Joshua, yes, right now. Also Joshua. Yeah. What product is Joshua? Hey, sell? you are your Joseph. You can read. I would like. Oh, oh I okay, okay, okay. I would like to create a brand for my environment friendly diapers. What do you have in mind? I see a lot of people are buying from you rather than getting the ones sold at the supermarket. Well, yes, that is the problem. People are calling them Joshua, Joshua but that sounds just bad. And I can't come up with any better idea. You could call them no brand. No brand has become a trend for some products in Japan and Korea. Yeah, very good. Um, Look at the conversation and also the, the sentences the... below. Okay, what product is Yosre, Yosre selling? Yeah, uh, diapers. He is selling diapers. Yeah. Uh, what is an appealing characteristic of this product? Um. What is appealing characteristic of this product? No. Yeah, so... The name, maybe? No, no, this is characteristic. Um, Appearing what, is, it, what uh, is attractive or like that. Yeah, uh, um, the name, is it's the name no, or no? Anyone else? No, they sold. Only at the supermarket. Hmm. Yeah. That. Uh, yeah. And, and the third sentence is: Is the target audience interested in buying the product Joshua sells? Hmm. Is the target audience interested in buying the product you also sell? I see a lot of people are buying from you rather than <coughs> the ones sold at the supermarket. 
People are calling them Joshua, but that sounds just bad. Mm. I don't think so. Yeah. Because yeah. they sound just bad, and I can't come up with any better idea. Mm -hmm. Pass to the next question in. What does Ami suggest? Change the name. Yeah, change the name to no brand. Yeah. And five, have you ever hear of this marketing strategy? No brand? Mm. Really? No. And you? Wait a minute. I am writing. Oh. Pero según lo que se lee en, en el tercer párrafo dice but that sounds just bad and I can't come up with any better idea eh, que a la gente no le gusta mucho cómo suena el producto de, de, Jos de Josué así que la respuesta sería no interesting no for me I guess I, I don't know what do you think about that no. Bye. Yo oh. entiendo, yo entiendo que ella le pregunta que si tiene alguna idea en mente acerca de la marca. Y él le dice que sí, pero que las personas no están como interesadas en por, por el nombre, pues que Joshua, no sé qué. I see a lot of people are buying mm -hmm. buying from you from you rather than getting the one sold on the Entonces, aquí, pero aquí está diciendo que prefieren lo de él antes que otro ma. o sea que si le gusta el, el Joshua y aquí él le dice que a él no le gusta el nombre no, ves que sí, vaya, yo, yo entiendo que al inicio le dice de que está interesado en crear una marca para sus diapers. Ajá. De ahí le dice ella que si tiene alguna idea en mente para la marca. Y de ahí es donde ella le como que desconecta la idea de eso y le empieza a decir que hay algunas personas eh, que como que prefieren obtener estos productos en el en <ríe> el supermarket. Mm. Es que, teacher, no, no, nos estamos perdiendo en el contexto. Por eso estamos hablando en español. <laughs> no way. <laughs> okay. Okay. This, this, George is agreeing. A, okay. I see a lot of people are buying from you. Creo que le dice, mucha gente está comprando el tuyo. Okay. Rather than getting the one sold, o sea, sobre otro que existe en el supermercado. Eso entiendo yo. I don't know. Okay. And it is correct. It is correct. Yes. Mm -hmm. and, and then, the, well, yes, that is problem. That is the problem. What is the problem? People are calling them Joshua's. Mm -hmm. but, this, but that sounds just bad. O sea, que solo a él no le gusta. Solo yeah, no le gusta. he doesn't like that. Imagine someone is calling Kevin's to a diaper, uh -huh. right? So Kevin's diapers, uh, well, it doesn't sound so good, <laughs> okay? Uh -huh. So mm -hmm. that's a good name for other kind of products, but not for a diaper. But teacher, here mm -hmm. is, yes, uh, the answer about the third question is audience, Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, is interesting in by the pro. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. 
I think so too. I think so too, because it's a lot of people buying the product. They are consuming the product from Joshua because of what feature? Environment friendly diapers, environment friendly. So um, a lot of people think that um, they are saving the planet, right? Using this kind of product. So yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's accepted. Is buying. And why you didn't agree, Lorena? Perdón, teacher. Why didn't you agree? Or, mm. or were you agree? I mean, yes. did you agree? Yes, yes. Oh, okay, okay. And what Rafael, does? do you agree? Okay, continue, Kevin. Continue, Lorena. Lorena, okay. what does Amy suggest? Suggest. Mm -hmm. There you have Carlos Alberto over there. Look. Yes. Uh, they say that, that uh, he can cool mm, no brown. <laughs> she say. She say. Is say okay? No, say it with say it with s. With s. She uh, says. Uh huh. She says. How how do you spell it? S a y s. S a a y y s y s. Okay. Ah, uh, she says, okay. Yeah. And uh -huh. she says, Anna. That. That. He can. He can. Oh, he could maybe a uh, uh, name or no sé cómo sería. Uh, Brandon. Brand. Mm -hmm. Or branding them, right? Mm -hmm. brand, Naming brand them. Name. He could brand he, name. Uh -huh. he, he could brand them. Brand them. Brand name. Ah, uh, yep. Uh -huh. No brand. This is a, as if you were calling a cat. Cut, right? <laughs> yeah. You you could call them no brand. No brand has become a term for some pros in Japan and Korea. Mm -hmm. uh, me está sugiriendo que no tenga marca. No, not exactly, not exactly. We're gonna <laughs> see what no brand means. <laughs> brand <laughs> is the example Danny Prout, teacher? Excuse me? Uh, when you say no brand is like uh, Danny Products, for example, mm. in, this, in the Super Selectors? Actually, they have a brand, Danny. Okay, Danny. they have a brand, even though the name of the product is different, but that they have nine, a, a name, so they have a brand. No brand is that it doesn't yeah. have, yeah, it, it doesn't have a brand. Even there is a producer, they don't want to name it. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, if, for example, you say no brand, uh, products like a uh, market, Mm -hmm. When you um, buy in a um, local market, uh -huh. in uh, vegetables or another product, uh -huh. without, is that? Without a brand? Not actually. Not actually. But yes, they don't have a brand because there is a producer that we as customers don't know. But maybe the retailer know 
Okay, the person who is selling in the supermarket or the personal selling touch point over there, it's going to know the company who import these kind of products. For example, we could say Chiquita, yeah, the, the bananas. Um, the pineapples have their own name because it's a company that uh, distribute them or a uh, crops this kind of products but not exactly not exactly they have brands too in the market they have brands too in the market even if they are a uh, chile verde or let's say a uh, green pepper onion garlic yeah mm -hmm. okay. eh, teacher tengo una duda mm -hmm. en ese párrafo para entenderlo mm -hmm. dice que uh -huh. lo llame el sin marca o que no use marca. Eh, hey, good point. Ajá, you're closer, you're closer. Uh -huh. uh, we'll see that about no brand. What, what is this concept? Because this is a concept. So after we are going to call everybody, okay, I will close the, the breakout rooms for everybody to come back. And then we are going to talk about no brand, okay? Okay. okay. Kevin. Hola. I believe that the, the last question, the answer is uh, the last paragraph in the conversation. And paragraph. Paragraph. Um, <laughs> paragraph. Paragraph. Yes. Uh -huh. No brand has become a trend for some products in Japan. Have you? Uh, I believe, but I don't know. Yeah, no brand. No brand is a strategy too. Okay, no brand is a strategy. Mm -hmm. But and the fifth question is for us or no you Amy you is no for you. Ah okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, how is everybody doing? Was it easy? Was this activity easy? Yes. Yes, it was, right? Okay, nice. Mm -hmm. Okay, then, guys, uh, we are going to answer each question. Uh, let's see. What dynamic do we use? Actually, Jose Miguel, do you want to share yours? Yes. Okay, please. Um, Hice bien en hacer captura, comento. Okay. Estábamos trabajando en la pantalla de otro compañero, así que lo oh. mío por eso es una captura del recorte. Ah, oh, right. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, the first question was, what product is Josué selling? We saw Josué selling diapers. The second question, what is an appealing characteristic of this product? Well, it is environment okay environment friendly diapers but with the with this answer we i have a, a question is correct uh, right it is environment friendly diaper or they are environment friendly diaper if you are talking about about only okay. one characteristic it is okay mm -hmm. oh, okay okay i'm okay and and it's not necessary to add diapers just it is environment friendly environment friendly uh -huh. mm -hmm. yes. the third question is is the target audience interested in buying the product for sell? yes because uh, the customers identify the product with that name what is the name well the people in the in the the, the, the people call it Josues or Joshua's. Joshua's. Sorry, Joshua's. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, as I say, the product with it. And other, uh, we don't put in the, the image for space, is the the people, the audience is interested because they buy in their, their product and mm -hmm. uh, more than the other, more than the other brand in the supermarket. Okay. They prefer uh, that. 
Mm -hmm. We'll try to down it. Do you agree, guys? Everybody agrees? Yeah. Okay, Elias. Uh, do you have any other idea to add, Elias? No, we answered the same. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> very good, very good. Uh -huh. Okay, and what about number four? Number four, what does Amy suggest? Well, she suggests call them no brand. And that's because uh, she had a lot of product in Japan and Korea with okay. no brand. And the number five, have you ever heard of this marketing strategy, no brand? Well, no really. <laughs> oh, okay. Then let's start talking about no brand then, okay? Because I see nobody knows. Actually, you know this in the practice. You know this with Farmacias Económicas here in El Salvador. They have these no brand products, yeah. okay? This no brand medication. Uh, do you know the other word? to refer those kind of medicine, that kind of medicine, I'm sorry. Generics. Exactly, exactly. Generic, generic. It means that you produce something. Allow me to show, to show you a slide that I prefer. Just give me one second. Let me find it out. Uh, <clears throat> there is these kind of products that the producer is trying to uh, reduce costs in this process, branding process, because actually they're going to need the product any, anyway. Um, it's a product that it that sells itself because of uh, the market needs, okay? Um, it's not only because of mm, your product is different because maybe your product's exactly with the same features. And what you are offering maybe is uh, reducing cost to offer a cheaper product, okay? To offer a cheaper product than one that is in the market with the name, okay? With the brand. So allow me to show you this. I always get slow with this thing. But now here it is. So a brand, a no brand product is a generic product, okay? So it has similar, uh, it's exactly the same product, it's exactly the same components, exactly the same parts, maybe similar colors, okay? And they do these as a strategy um, that um, generates, save, I mean, uh, generates savings for, the um, the company, okay, and they can invest this money in other in other um, let's say areas like production or buying the raw materials instead of buying or paying someone creating the brand or managing uh, the the brand, okay, and so a no brand brand is a brand that has an anti-brand image, anti-brand image, generic brands. That's exactly what we are talking about. Are lines of consumer products designed to compete with well-established brands in a particular area. The idea is that they save money by not advertising to deliver similar quality at a lower cost, at a lower cost. For example, uh, this is why the Chinese, Korean, Japanese are taking the market, right? Because they offer, mm, let's say imitations because it's not the original one, but the function is exactly the same. Maybe the life is exactly the same. The battery life or the functioning, it's exactly the same, but they can offer it cheaper because they are not spending money in nothing of promotion or uh, anything. They go side by side with the original, okay? It's because of the product itself. Now you got it? Hello. Okay. Mm -hmm. Tell me, Boris. Hello. Welcome. Welcome. 
How you We're doing? Home. Great. 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 Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Um, I am not understand uh, the concept and no brand. Brand is a brand that has uh -huh. anti brand in, image. Anti brand understand. image. Mm -hmm. Yes, not understand. Okay, the, for example, Boris, imagine uh, the example I gave it was a uh, farmacias económicas. You go and ask for, um, let's say, um, aspirin, okay? Not for a brand, but for the component, okay? Aspirin. But buyer uh, is um, in a higher price. And maybe there is another one that doesn't have any brand but they offer exactly the same component and it's cheaper because they don't advertise, okay? They don't advertise. Anyway, you are going to buy aspirin. Anyway, you are going to buy aspirin, but you go and you buy it for the price because it's cheaper, okay? No brand means that it doesn't have a brand, okay? It doesn't have a brand and they are saving money, uh, avoiding, advertisement all right so so so, so. Sorry. uh okay so, so. Mm. uh teacher I, I understand i understand the the the, the definition but is example like a pirateria no 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 it's not that it's not that because you have the patent, you have the components, you have everything legal, yeah? Everything legal. Um, yeah. it, it's a producer, but you are not using promotion. You're not using advertisement. You just go with the promotion and advertising of the original ones or the big companies, okay? From the big companies. So you can offer and sell and get a positioning in the market through the, uh, a strategy of pricing, okay? Strategy uh, example, of pricing. for example, and uh, the, the San Nicolas, he intro the laboratorios suizos, laboratorios Lopez, mm -hmm. and Calmo. Mm -hmm. But they are brands. The, the brand, intro other brand. Mm, yes, but that's um like a corporate thing okay or maybe it will be a product branding or something like that no uh we are not talking about that por ejemplo mira, el producto se tiene que vender sí o sí porque todos lo van a utilizar o sea todas las personas en esta vida comen sí todas las personas en esta vida usan productos de primera necesidad como de limpieza personal o ese tipo de cosas. Medicina, todos los seres humanos vamos a necesitar. Por lo tanto, eh, yo puedo ir a la par de una compañía que tiene un nombre grande, que ha creado una, su, todo su, su marketing completo, ¿verdad? Y todo eso, puedo llevar mi producto para poder posicionarme con el precio más bajo. No le pongo nombre, eh, no le pongo, ¿qué? Aspirinas Carmen, ¿verdad? No, no le voy a poner un nombre porque entonces nadie lo va a conocer en ese sentido, sino que van a decir, ah, bueno, pero Carmen no lo conozco. Bueno, pero es aspirina. Ah, entonces aspirina, ¿ok? Yo agarro aspirina porque aspirina es lo que necesito. ¿Ya? No. no. Por ejemplo, uh, 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 general, general branding. Generic. Generic. Generic branding. Exactly, this is, look, mm -hmm. generic brands are lines of consumer products. Okay, consumer products. So okay. it means, or, mm -hmm. or, or for example, when I, when I buy a, a charger for cell phone, I can buy charger mm -hmm. Samsung or charger Sony, but in the bus, on the bus, mm -hmm. uh, some people is selling, charger generics and generics and they have brand they have a brand but they don't advertise it yet we could call them generic ones yes it, it's generic charger is no brand 
A yes, a generic charger is okay. no brand. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because you didn't name it. Okay. You didn't give it name. No le dio un nombre a la marca. Okay. Pero sí, but, por ejemplo, but it, 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 it's depend on, I think, for uh, yes, excuse correct. Me, yes, correct. Santiago. Because uh -huh. if you are talking about the, the pharmaceutical industry, uh, they are generic, but they have a name. The generic. They have because of mark. the components. Yeah, exactly. No, no, yeah, no. But they have generic and they have a brand too. Yes, there are but many. Uh, for years, for years ago, they didn't have a, a technical name. Mm -hmm. Only the 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 name the what's the name the uh, uh, ingredient active ingredient the component that, the component and it was the generic. Exactly. But right now, it's changed. A little more, and they have commercial uh, names, uh, 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 right? And they are generic because the patent, uh, the patent uh, for a product, uh, uh, they need fifteen years only, and there is free, liberated. Mm -hmm. you can you can use it if you mm -hmm. want this uh, uh, ingredient, active ingredient. Okay. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. pharmaceutical, they will be pharmaceutical. Pharmaceutical. Right. Yeah, pharmaceutical, not pharmaceutical. Pharma pharmaceutical. Pharmaceutical. Yeah. pharmaceutical. Mm -hmm. sure. Tell me. Uh, I want to understand. Uh, for example, mm -hmm. uh, anti allergic uh, uh, MK laboratories. Mackeson. Yes, MK. 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 Uh, the Mackeson. other product, the other product, uh, anti allergic uh, generic, is 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 similar. It's no brown, a uh, generic. Uh, All right, but has a name because the buyer exactly the buyer... Santiago, you are correct. You are correct. So this is the situation. It has a name because it is a product. A right. product has for sure have a name, okay? They have to have a name. But brand is a commercial uh, seal, okay? Right. A commercial seal. That's the difference between the name of the product and the brand of the product. But yes, right. Carlos Ernesto, that's correct. As you said, the two anti-allergics, uh, it's because of the component and it's cheaper, the generic one, because they are not spending or they are not investing in advertisement they just go side by side with the big companies or the big names big brands i'm sorry mm -hmm. only uh, only only, uh, only to know mcherson uh, they aren't buyer no oh, okay buyer sell the products uh, expensive or they buy mk oh Okay. And they sell generic too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. In this case, uh, the product uh, no brand. Mm -hmm. uh, in my experience, uh, the quality is less. I think. Okay. Well, have you ever tried it? No, I don't think so. In <laughs> Neither do because, I. <laughs> because because the. You know, there are uh, uh, in Switzerland, there are many generic uh, products, and they are better than uh, another countries. Because they are pure. They and, are pure. Uh, they don't have any naturally, other commercial. Naturally. Yeah, uh -huh. naturally. Yeah, yeah, yes. naturally. Yeah. But, and also, uh, there are laws behind. There are laws behind. Yeah. If they make anything illegal, then they know they are going to break down, okay? Right. They know they're going to jail, okay? For offering something that it's, uh, a, um, let's say, what's it? scam, okay? If it is a scam, if they are um, a, a hiding the 
harm that this can cause. There are loads, there are loads behind. So it's not exactly that they are with wow. less quality. Sometimes they are the same quality. Mm -hmm. for, for example, uh, seller the, the oils in the mini market is, mm -hmm. is with a brand, is in a, I'm sorry, I, 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 how do you say, como uh, bolsa de charamusca. Yeah, plastic bag, the little ones, yeah. maybe. Mm -hmm. Plastic bag, no, plastic bag uh, in the, in the yeah. mini yeah. store. Uh-huh, okay. And Siler, Siler, <coughs> I'm sorry, mm -hmm. Siler is the, 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 the oil. Mm -hmm. uh, for example. Uh, I didn't understand you. What, neither what do, do I. Uh, they sell oil but from the bottle to the plastic bag. Yes. Just like uh, aceite uh, with a little brown. Yes, yes. Mm, okay. But that um, doesn't mean that it has no brand. Okay. It doesn't mean it has no brand. Maybe it's already sold. Yeah. Maybe it's something that you buy it in bulk or in a big amount, right? And then you can uh, divide in portions what you're selling. Yeah, mm -hmm. yes. exactly. And you know, the name will be Charamosca's bag. <laughs> Charamosca bag, oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> ah, the Charamosca's bag. Okay, guys. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Okay, then. Uh, let's say that generic brands are lines of consumer products. Consumer products are those that we call primera necesidad, okay? Consumer products designed to compete with well-established brands in a particular area, in a particular area. Uh, those um, uh, products or spare parts, for example, that come from Japan, from Korea, from China, from uh, Asian producers, they are big producers of spare parts of anything, electrical and all kind of um, uh, spare parts for appliances and uh, these kind of solar panels and all these spare parts for these things, big batteries, everything that they sell, or the parts, or the parts, electrical parts, mechanical, everything, um, industrial uh, uh, machinery, spare parts. They produce under their no brand, even though there is the original one, okay? There is the original one. It's not exactly an imitation, but it is, okay? In that case, in that case. All right, the idea is that they save money by not advertising to deliver similar quality, okay? This is the thing, similar quality at a lower cost, okay? at a lower cost, and I get a place in the market, okay? This is the strategy some companies are using to get a placement into the market. All right, is there any other question? There, is there anything you wanted to add? Are we okay? I'm okay. Okay, then let's think about the brand management. How to build a brand, how to build a brand. Okay, we need all these terms. Customer service, the company name, a strong impression, logo, repetition, repetition, day after day, time after time, hour after hour, repetition of the brand, of the colors, of the uh, slogans or the phrases, sticky phrases. Value proposition, value proposition. It's not only the price, it's about what this is for, what this is made for. So the price, sales promotions too, the, but the price add value, remember. Product benefits, description of the product. So all the four Ps goes 
right in the branding process. Okay, in the branding process. So let's think about also these other terms. Okay. Let's look at these other terms. The brand strategy. So branding. Yeah, branding. All the actions, all the strategies. Hmm. They have a process. Brand strategy follows a logical uh, order. Okay. First, we need to conduct a research. So conducting a research of what? Of the behavior of the market? Yes. Of the needs of the market? Yes. Of what people is buying, I mean, are buying? Yes. What places are offering? Oh, yes. What companies are producing? Yes. Everything related to my product idea, I need to conduct a research. Okay. I need to conduct a research, conducting research. Then after the research and with the results, I develop, I develop, I create strategies, okay? I create, I develop my concept. I develop the description mm -hmm. of my product, all right? And then clarifying the strategy, I discard the bad ideas. Okay, I clean this up. And then I design my identity. Identity is the logo, the brand name, the phrases, the concepts, colors, visual elements. Then creating touch, touch points. I'm sorry, touch points. What are the touch points? Digital marketing, social media, the media, okay? Managing assets, then we have the customer services, okay? We've got also the assets of the company um, are the employees too, in their uniform and on the way from home to the company, they, they have the logo, right? On their uniforms, for example, in a cup, promotional items, okay? Managing assets, managing assets. Okay, my cars or my transportations, okay, they have to be branded. Okay, they have to be branded. Um, managing assets, also the buildings, okay, they have to show my culture, they have to show what my company is, my brand. Okay, mm -hmm. so this is managing assets. Now, let's think about the brand strategy, okay? It starts with the logo, yeah? It starts with the brand, then the logo, then website, business cards, brochures. Well, the business cards with the employees are related, okay? Brochures, media, social media, digital marketing, price, customer services, product of services, and employees, right? So I will give you these uh, link. Okay, stop sharing. Y vamos a hacer ahorita un scanning, ¿ya? Yeah? Vamos a hacer un scanning de lo que dice este artículo. Click on it. Let's do the scanning and let's look only for the elements listed through uh, the article right under each step that I name right now, okay? The elements, it says the branding process. So scanning, let's go and let's go to the first one. It says conducting Research. Who wants to read the uh, 
benefits of conducting research. It's a list. It's a list of one, two, three, four, five points. I will read the first one. Clarify the vision, strategies, goals, and values of the company. Next, who wants to read it? Okay. You got it? Okay, go ahead, please, Kevin. Ask key management their vision for the run. All right, mm -hmm. continue. Or can you hear me? Yes, 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 we do. Yes, we can. Now we can't. <laughs> Mr. Kevin? Kevin? Who wants to continue, guys? Me. Okay, please, Nelson. Uh, number three, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Research stakeholders needs and perceptions. Uh, conduct a brand audit. Conduct a competitive audit. All right, so let's count, scroll down and go to developing and clarifying a strategy. Let's see what we should clarify. We should clarify. A brand strategy should clarify. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Vision. Once, okay. What else? Tar target markets. Mm -hmm. Competitive advantage. Mm -hmm. Brand values. Mm -hmm. Brand personality. Mm -hmm. Brand promise. And promise. Brand promise. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Brand promise and brand proposition. Proposition. What is the proposal when you created this? All right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let's go and let's look at designing identity. Designing identity. It says the last, the last two, the last two paragraphs. Uh, each designer? Designing identity, yes. Uh, the second paragraph? Uh, no, the last two, the last two paragraphs. Richard, can you share? Mm, not exactly, because we are doing this activity like scanning, okay? Uh, so go and read. It says, to make sure that the logo works mm -hmm. as part of the whole visual identity, we are in number three, okay? Number three, designing identity. Are you there yet? Yes. Go to the yeah. last two paragraphs. Yes. Hmm? Okay, can you follow with this reading? Okay, me. Mm -hmm. To make sure that the logo works as part of the whole visual identity. Identity. Uh, identity. It has to be trialed on real documents, for example, business card, letterhead, website, left folder, etc. From leaflet. this leaflet. Uh, from this, it can be established whether it will work on different scales, on different materials, and on a screen or in print all right we have a, continue um, we have a range of branding project in our portfolio mm -hmm. that that show how the brand identities we have designed work across a wide range of wide. materials wide, wide range, range of materials. Of materials okay this is what they offer that hyphen offers all right now uh, let's go to creating touch points, creating touch points. So let's read what are these touch points, the list. Okay, go ahead, please. Websites, business cards, letterheads, 
brochures, left leads, leaflets, leaf, leaflets, foyer, leaflets, leaflets, signage, road designs, packing signage, designs, uh -huh. design, huh? signage, road design, designage. No, no. Signage is the first one, and then it goes with product design, packaging design. Ah, product design, packing, packaging design. Packaging design. Packaging design, advertising, uh, vehicles. Vehicles. Vehicles, mm -hmm. uniforms. Uniforms. All right. So this is what this is about, okay? And managing assets. Managing assets, let's see. The key questions when we communicate the new brand identity, when we create branding guidelines, when we designate mm -hmm. the roles, and these are the main points of the branding management, then let's read the, the key questions of the communicating, okay, the new brand identity to employees and customers, employees and customers. Only the key questions. Who needs to know? You got it? Who needs to know? What do they need to know? What do they need to know? Mm -hmm. mm. Does the change affect them? How are they going? How are they going? How are they going to find out? When are they going to find out? All right. And here we are talking about the new brand identity. Okay, new brand identity. Okay, this is when we are making changes. This is when we are maybe starting a new product in my product line, okay? Or maybe we are changing or co-branding as a strategy. These are the things we need to, uh, in, let's say, include in our branding strategy. The employees, the consumers or customers, the wholesalers, and everybody who is involved in the process of the distribution, of the selling, of the buying, and all the other um, processes of marketing, then they need to know, right? They need to know. So you have to define who needs to know. What do they need to know? The prices, the description of the product, the colors, mm, the channels of distribution, the components of my product, okay? So what do they need to know? Why do they need to know? Because it affects them or because it's going to be an asset for them too. So why? Does the change affect them? Does the change affect them? This is what we need to communicate, okay? How are they going to find out? Maybe by brochures, maybe by meetings, maybe by emails, I don't know. We're going to find out the channel of communication. Then when are they going to find out? When? The best moment to do this is right before introducing the new brand, okay? Introducing the new brand. So yes, um, this is what branding is. And these are some terms related. Branding is extends. Branding is, um, there is a management of branding, okay? There is, a, let's say, a speciality, right, of, of this uh, marketing career. But now we know the basics. Now we know the basics. And the basics are differentiation. Just it, okay, differentiation. So let's go and let's um, move through the manual. In the manual on page 26, we have a building vocabulary. We were talking about the product branding, personal branding, corporate branding, geographical branding, and um, cultural branding too. And 
let's see the definition we've got there. For example, in the geographical branding, it could be for uh, the place where my company is located and according to the region, they are going to know my product in some way. So this is what we are going to see. Okay, this is what we're, we are going to see. Teacher attendance. Oh yes, you're right. The attendance. Um, what do we do? Okay, I'll give you this one. And meanwhile, I'm calling the role due to this activity. All right. So do the match, guys. There it is. Thank you very much for uh, for reminding me. Okay, people, the requirements from Insofor are that you have to say present when I call your names. But yeah, the principal one is that you need to turn your camera on to see that it is you, the one it's in the other side. All right. Alvaro Ernesto Aguilar Peñate. Here I am. All right. Hagan el match ahorita mientras yo llamo, okay? Álvaro Ernesto, say, here I am. All right. Today is Tuesday. And it's... Ana Lorena Lobato Orellana. Present teacher. Okay. Boris Alexander Cortez Cáceres. Present teacher. Roberto Domínguez Martínez. Present teacher. Okay. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Present teacher. Edwin Antonio Quintero Sumaña. Present teacher. Elias Neftalí Martínez González. Present teacher. Okay. Eulice Torres Torres. Ah, he's just a listener, right? Okay. Jose, perdón. Ay, ay, voy en Eulice. Fátima Noemi Umaña Castro. Jose Miguel Torres Hernández. Present teacher. Okay. Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. I'm here, teacher. All right. Josma Natilio Serrano. Present teacher. Okay. Karen Lisette Sánchez Castro. Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menéndez. Present. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. Here. Okay, Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Present. Santiago Roberto Calderona Velar. Wilber Alberto Present. Pérez Méndez. Present. Okay. All right. Who wants to share? Did you finish the match? Who wants to come to the board and do it?
Salvador. Excuse me. Do you want to come to the board? Puede entrar a la pantalla y hacerlo. Oh, there is Kevin too. Estoy desde un cell phone. Ah, okay. All right. Then continue, Kevin. Is there anyone who wants to help? Anyone else? Very good, Boris. <laughs> All right. <laughs> sorry, sorry for lying. No problem, but you did it. All right. Uh huh. You wanted to, to write? No, me, me equivoqué. Okay. <laughs> o sea, por error lo hice. <laughs> okay, no problem. Let's try to miss this one. All right, here it is. So what is product branding? What is product branding? Can you read it, please? It is how a product interacts with its consumer audience through design, logo, and advertising. Okay. It says consumer audience. Consumer. Mm -hmm. Consumer audience. Yes. Very good. Number two, personal branding? Consumer. The practice is the practice of the people mark, marketing the themselves themselves and the their haters as brands. All right, themselves. 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 Mm -hmm. themselves. And their themselves. careers. Careers. The careers. 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 As and brands. brands. And no, bra as, as, brands. as brands. As brands. As brands. As brands. As brands. They are as brand. Yes. For example, dentists, doctors, lawyers, auditors, accountants, independent professionals. Okay. Independent for professionals. Um, so a public relationists, a marketers, a public publicists. Uh, any kind of careers. I'm sorry? Accountants. Accountants, singers, okay, singers, actresses, actors. Mm -hmm. Yes. And famous personalities, right? The politicians. Yeah, the politicians. They do propaganda, but it's also a brand. Okay, it's also a brand, their names. Okay. Mm -hmm what they do, their experience, they work. Okay, now, corporate branding, corporate branding. What is corporate branding? It's referred to the practice of prom promotion, promoting in the brand name of a corporate entity as opposite to the specific products or service. All right, let's refine the pronunciation of corporate entity. It could be corporate entity, corporate, corporate entity. Mm -hmm. as corporate entity. Opposed, as opposed, opposed. to, yes. Like opposition, right? So opposed to specific products or service. Okay, then the geographical branding. 
geographical, geographical, this one. Okay. <clears throat> okay. It is used to draw a positive connection between a product and the identity of a geographical region. Yeah, like the beaches here, right? right. Beaches, yes. Mm -hmm. All right, cultural branding? Cultural, cultural. Cultural branding. Mm -hmm. Me. Okay, please, Nelson. Uh, a type of branding that develops a reputation about the environment and people of a particular location or nationality. Very good. So, for example, we could talk about Ilo Vasco handicrafts, yeah, or Cola Champán, yeah, from El Sabor de El Salvador, okay, and Lido. Yo de Lido no me olvido, Salvadoran, okay. So, yes, so that's cultural. It becomes cultural. I said Santa Duvige, semita de piña, okay? <laughs> so, yes. Mm -hmm. Thank you, everybody, for your participation, and thank you for being here. See you tomorrow. Do your homework, and we are going to continue with branding strategy tomorrow, too. So, um, see you tomorrow. Ah, the, the, a session one on one, right? The session one on one tonight is for I said a name. Wilbur. Wilbur, it's your turn. Do you want to okay. stay? Okay. Okay, very good. So acabo de tomar la lista, verdad? Estamos todos los mismos. Alguien se ha agregado que no haya mencionado su nombre. Vamos a ver. Hermano, el que no esté. I am, I am, I am here. Okay, yeah. Santiago, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay, vamos a ver, yo creo que ya los pusimos a todos, ¿verdad? Yeah. Bueno, vamos a hacer un yes. recuento. Álvaro, Ana Lorena, Boris, Carlos Alberto, Carlos Ernesto, Edwin Antonio, ahí estamos, okay. muy bien. Elías Neftalí, ahí estamos, Eulice. Eulice, ¿se unió Eulice? Bueno, él estaba como oyente, ¿verdad? As a listener. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. And let's see. Karen? Is Karen here yet? Did she get disconnected? Maybe she got disconnected. I, I thought she was in. Well, maybe I got wrong. And... Kevin Alfredo, well, he present, is right present. here. Thank you. Nelson, Rafael, Santiago, and Will. Yes. Fatima, is Fatima here? All right. Well. Bueno, los animo a que no falten de aquí para allá. See you tomorrow, guys. See you tomorrow. tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Have a very good night. Good Bye. Night. Bye. Teacher, sorry, I am in the bathroom. Oh, okay. One second. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> okay, no problem. I will check you in. Don't worry. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you, Elias. Bye. Bye. Okay, here we go. Hello, Wilbur. How are you tonight? I'm fine, teacher. Thank you. Okay, great. How do you how did you feel the class tonight? Uh, interesting. Okay. Uh, I don't know, interesting. Uh, or about, about all uh, the, the topic when you, uh, when you were talking as about the for well, branding, I don't know. Uh, no, when you're no talking brand. about the medicine. Oh, the medicine. No brand, no brand. Uh -huh. Yes, because it, it, I was thinking because uh, who who allows, uh, I, I mean, I know the government, but uh, I don't know how, how do they allow the companies uh, to that because uh, 
they need to follow the rules, no? Exactly. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. uh, so uh, when you're talking about that, I was just, I was just uh, thinking about it. And, and, yeah. and, I didn't, and I didn't ask you because uh, I knew you, you need to, to talk another uh, topics, no? Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, what I know is that uh, that the reason why the governments uh, create this uh, consumer protection institutions, right? Like uh, you have your rights and there is like a chart or a document that uh, lists all the rights of the consumers. Mm -hmm. And you are able to demand these companies if, is there any harm uh, when you are taking this kind of products? But the that's production... what they avoid. That, that's what they avoid. No, no. Avoid. No, no. no. Actually, uh, there are laws for the pro producers because usually medicines are uh, regulated, but the, um, this like in the United States, the FDA, or the, um, here we've got something in the, some, uh, it's like a dependency in uh, the health ministry, okay? The, the health ministry, they have this division where they uh, extend the permissions of mm -hmm. operations for these kind of laboratories because this is a complete different field. Yeah, like producing the food, right? Also health minister yes. ministries has to, to give the permissions mm -hmm. to. And you have to follow all the rules. Yeah, you have to follow all the rules. If you don't, then you may have your sanctions too. Okay, you, be, you can be a uh, sanctioned. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, but it was so interesting about that. Oh, yes, it is. Mm -hmm. Yes, it mm -hmm. is. And theory, I mean, theoretical is really interesting, but in the practice, it's more interesting and it's a very hard job. It's a very hard mm -hmm. job. Yes, it is. Do you yes. like it, the industry of medicine? No, actually, no. What I like is marketing. <laughs> ah, okay. Yeah, what I like is marketing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and all the communication science. Yeah, that's what I really like. Okay. Mm -hmm. organizational channels of communication and developing new channels developing uh, new messages or new ways to communicate messages okay that that's what i like mm -hmm. usually update yeah i i do i do like it and is there anything else i can help you with uh not really, because uh, marketing is, is is not easy for me. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to understand. Uh, it's new. Mm -hmm. uh, it is not my area. Mm -hmm. But I try. Okay. But as I say, as a consumer, I think it's uh, beneficial for you to know all these strategies. So you will know mm -hmm. if you are uh, before or onto a scam or something, then you will detect if they are lying to you or you can trust in the brands, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. yes. yes, you're right. Right. Mm -hmm. And you see the strategies they are using, strategies they are using, for example, the promotional things or the promotional strategies, the placement strategies. And eventually, if you um, decide to become an entrepreneur, then you have the tools to do it mm -hmm. yes, sir. yes i guess mm -hmm. okay what what i was talking and what i was interested to talk about it was the personal branding because usually in our companies we are known for our abilities for what we are for our values our behavior mm -hmm. so that's personal branding too and you sell yourself or sell your own image to your company and you become an asset for the company because of your values and because of the value you are adding to the company mm -hmm. as an asset, as an employee, right? Mm -hmm. That's personal branding too. Yes, That's personal yes. branding. 
For example, when you present your curriculum or your CV, then you, you present your abilities, you present your preparation, but they don't know you really. You have to um, uh, present the added value that you have, right? And that's loyalty, that's honesty, right? That's responsibility. And all the good things you can offer, all the good things you can mm -hmm. offer, your good work, hard work, and uh, let's say obedience, um, I don't know, teamwork, whatever you want to say, uh, it, that is a good quality, right? <laughs> because yes, can you it, can it also is, send a bad image. <laughs> it is part of, part of of you, like you said, a part of your a personal brand. Yes, you you have you yes, have you're right. It's how everybody knows you. Mm -hmm. It's how everybody knows you. If you're a lazy one, if you're an irresponsible, that's your brand too. Yeah, so you've got to be careful with it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're right. Uh -huh. So I wanted to talk about that, but I had to go over. Uh, but it's a very interesting topic too. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, uh, you're right. I, but like I told you, hey, <laughs> It's not my area, but I'm trying to understand. Yeah. And like you said, uh, it, it is interesting because I know all uh, some um, some topics that I didn't know it. Uh, and now it, I have an idea. No? Exactly. Exactly. And now you can see this in the point of view of, of the professionals behind of it, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Professionals behind it, behind of it. And also it's not just that you know only the basics because you know the process now. Mm -hmm. you, you, you know some technical terms too. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, and, and yes. I would like to, to understand uh, over, uh, more over the, the, the technical uh, mm -hmm. words. Yes, and the way to learn that is um, looking at the words that you didn't understand uh, in an English dictionary, not translating, but in an English dictionary. Uh, it, there it, you it, is, mm -hmm. it is difficult, it is difficult. Yes, but you must. And also you will see the synonyms. The synonyms is going to give you uh, a wider, um, a wider spectrum of the meaning of this word. And also, mm -hmm. how can you use the word in a sentence, for example? Uh -huh. Yes, uh -huh. I, I try. Uh -huh. I, I really try because I, when I hear, a, I don't know, a, a, I turn on the television and I, I put a, an English channel, for example, a sport channel. Mm, good. Uh -huh. Uh, sport channel it is they 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 talk a uh, normal uh -huh. day but, but for me what it's fast uh, it's, it's too fast, fast but, but it happens something uh -huh. when they start to to speak it i maybe i understand some words the first words but happen this one my man uh, is translating inside mm -hmm. and and after and, and and after no and while they're speaking my mind is thinking about it and after that i just uh, in blank oh okay and but i you, don't know what i think you lose you lose uh the focus mm -hmm. trying to translate the first idea yes so this is what what i i am always saying go over Go over through the whole idea, and then when it's finished, if I didn't understand, okay, then I go back. But if I didn't hear the whole idea, then I'm not going to understand either. Okay, mm -hmm. uh huh. You have to listen to the whole part because, as in Spanish, we have some verbs. For example, uh, the conjugation of the compound tenses. Nosotros decimos, hemos traído, hemos, o decimos, eh, hemos tenido que, ah, ya es completo. O sea, no solamente es hemos, no solamente es tenido, no solamente es que, hemos tenido que, ah, ese es el concepto. Y eso es lo que se nos olvida 
cuando queremos traducir, traducimos word by word, cuando tenemos yes. que traducir la idea completa. Si tiene razón, pasa, pasa eso. Pero eso es bueno. ¿Sabe cómo, Wilber? Uh, yeah. Watching the news, watching the news. Uh, mm -hmm. For example, on Google, you see the summary of the, I don't know, anything that happened during the day or during the week. And then you are familiar with the facts of this news, right? Then when you watch the news, you are going to understand because you already read it. You already know just a little about it. And then you are going to do the relation or the association of the words. That will be easier. And it's going to uh, expand your vocabulary if you do it that way. Okay, yeah, we try. Do it that way. Yes, I have done it and it is so enriching with some students with some mm -hmm. students yeah i make them see for example on google if you open google and then it's going to show a list of events uh, things news whatever is happening in the world you're going to read it right there so just mm -hmm. read the summary read the summary and get familiar with the uh the event or the su success okay have a have an idea yeah have just the idea and then go and watch the news in at night okay mm -hmm. watch the news at night you will get familiar with what they are talking about because you already saw that in google okay and okay. you will expand your vocabulary okay mm -hmm. uh, do you remember when you uh, send send me a message about the about my daughter yes uh-huh uh, did you get it well uh, they they told me the same in inglés mm. corporativo she needs to have 16 years old oh, so right. I, i have to we have to wait okay well but but thank you very much for okay, the information no problem no problem it's okay and also she can watch the videos too she can mm. watch this uh this the playlist from YouTube, she can follow from the beginners if you want. You have you have the access from the beginners, so then she can watch the videos. It's going to um, uh, help her to be prepared when she gets the classes. Mm -hmm. I I shared her my 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 user mm -hmm. by but a. Uh, I think she haven't seen them because uh, I don't know. I think uh, uh, she's not in the first person, so I think it is not the same. That uh, because uh, that's because I think she she doesn't want to to watch it. Yes, she needs something more like everyday English, everyday yes. English, and for young people. Yes, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the uh -huh. vocabulary is too high for the um, work environment things. Yes. Uh -huh. And, and mm -hmm. this class and these classes are all about the the, the business. Yes. And she, mm -hmm. no, yeah, we she doesn't fine. want. Okay. <laughs> yes. I understand. I understand. And mm -hmm. that's true. That's right. I have worked with adolescents and I already know what you're talking about. See, mm -hmm. yes. yes. Yeah. Uh, of course. No problem. No problem. You've got to wait. Uh, yes. How old is she now? How? How old is she now? Ah, she, she, now she is a 15 year old. Ah, okay. So. Uh -huh. You're almost. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. She's near to 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 borrow. Acerca de cumplir. Okay. Años. Okay. She is turning. Uh, very soon. She is turning. Uh, sixteen very soon. Okay. She's turning sixteen very soon. 16 very soon. Sixteen very soon. All right. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm -hmm. All right then, Wilber. If uh, is there any other question? No teacher, no, no, no. but okay. uh, I would like to to give you my my thanks uh, for uh, information, right. and I have two information now: uh, English Productivo and and then now. All so right. I have two options. Yes, it's because of uh, young people. Insofarb has an uh, un diplomado. Okay. Ese es un diplomado, pero como asesor de salas de ventas. Ese también lo puede buscar. No recuerdo si nosotros aquí en Inglés Corporativo ya lo tenemos, 
voy a preguntar en la administración, porque ese diplomado está muy bueno, muy bueno también, y es a partir, si no me equivoco, de noveno grado. Ajá, uh -huh. si no me equivoco, tendría que averiguarle bien. Y ese le quedaría muy bien a ella también, porque ella sería un diplomado, una carrera, pues, ¿verdad? Una uh -huh. carrera técnica, y solo es un año y medio, o menos, menos, un año. Por ahí, okay. por ahí. Uh -huh. Y tiene todas las materias de, de Business Administration, uh -huh. pero en cápsula. Yeah. Uh -huh. Y recibe en inglés. Y recibe en inglés. Uh -huh. No sé si inglés corporativo ya lo tenga. Le voy a preguntar a mi jefe a ver si ya lo tenemos acá hoy. Ok. Uh -huh. Porque aquí tenemos okay. marketing digital. En ese sí ha crecido bastante nuestra compañía aquí. Uh -huh. sí. Y ese marketing digital es para personas, eh, para estudiantes también. ¿no? Sí, ese está abierto para ustedes también. No, pues ya. Sí, Eso no está abierto para ustedes también. Eh, cuando, por ejemplo, no le coincida algún curso, el horario, eh, usted puede decir en administración si le pueden a, a dar acceso a ese marketing digital. También usted ahorita, así como está, si quiere tomar los dos cursos, creo que puede. Uh -huh. La cosa es que es demandante. Eso sí es sí. muy demandante también. Bueno, nosotros aquí también tenemos así como bastante demanda, ¿verdad? Para ustedes. Tienen que cumplir bastantes requisitos. Allá también, a la hora de estudiar, pues deben de cumplir con todas las tareas, los proyectos uh -huh. y todo lo que van a hacer, ¿verdad? Okay. Sí. Pero es muy bonito ese curso. Está muy bien diseñado. Está buenísimo. Uh -huh. Bueno, por el momento voy a ver qué es lo que le parece a ella. ¿verdad? Pero sí. en este caso, ahorita solamente es lo que quiere ya fluir. Uh -huh. Ok, ok. Yeah. Well, no problem. Here we are. <laughs> ok, thank you, teacher. All right, all right. No problem, Wilbur. Have a very good night and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. All right, good night. Bye. Night, night.